These lone wolf terror attacks like Istanbul and Berlin in the Christmas market, as Liz and Waleed talked about, present a new challenge for law enforcement across the globe. By their nature, the suspects are harder to track, often radicalizing online. In the U.S., it creates a counterterrorism dilemma, one that often weighs American security against privacy, an issue President-elect Donald Trump and his Justice Department will have to address. Joining us to weigh in, Michael McKaysey, somebody who's addressed that very balance before. He served as Attorney General under President George W. Bush. Good to see you, sir. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good to be with you, Leland. Do you have a sense now of what the dilemma facing America, and for that matter, America's incoming president, is going to be in the light of the increase of these lone wolf attacks? Well, I don't think it's so much a dilemma um, as it is a challenge, and that is to rebuild and put back in place a lot of the, uh, the capabilities uh, that were allowed to deteriorate over the last eight years. Um, I think we have grown to rely principally on um, electronic uh, intelligence um, and less and less on human intelligence. Uh, and that is, that is something that, that is, doesn't operate to our advantage. Um, we're going to have to put back, I think, an interrogation program that allows us not simply to kill people with drones, but to capture them. Um, in the area of electronic intelligence, I think the, uh, the Congress is going to have to act um, in pretty short order because uh, Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act that allows the targeting of foreigners overseas is about to expire. So that's going to have to be re-upped. And um, I think Congress also ought to reconsider that having let section, what's called Section 214, which allowed gathering metadata uh, domestically to lapse, that perhaps ought to be put back in place. Um, I think that was done uh, with the uh, support of several libertarian Republicans and uh, leftist Democrats. And I think they were, they were selling fear. And they're going to have to... Uh, that, that, that point of view is going to have to be responded to. It, it, it's, it's, the, often, it's often taken out of context, and I'm going to take it out of context right now when I quote Ben Franklin, who said that those who are willing to trade a little bit of liberty for a little bit of safety deserve neither. Uh, out of context, but applicable here. Is that the trade-off that's going to have to happen as we see these lone wolf attacks and we see terrorism morph, or is there a way to have both? It's an excellent question, Leland, but I don't think that, that there is a trade-off. I think that 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 is often presented um, as kind of a false choice. There has been no invasion of our privacy in any of the electronic surveillance programs that the government had. Section 214 uh, that was allowed to lapse allowed the government to collect uh, what's called metadata, which is not the content of anybody's telephone calls. It's simply records that allow the government to check on whether a foreign terrorist called or was called by a number in the United States. There's been no overhearing of Americans. And the notion that somehow we're, we're sacrificing a bit of privacy in order to get protection, I think, is, is false. Well, that, that, no, it's, it's nobody's an, being it's asked to make that choice. It's an important argument, uh, and your perspective's unique on it. I want to ask one last question. You noted how much of our abilities have been uh, degraded, if you will, over the past eight years. And people in the intelligence community and the justice community as well, be it the FBI, have long complained that their hands have been tied by the Obama administration. Are we at the point where we're behind the eight ball and can't really rebuild these capabilities? Or is there still time, albeit working against the clock, because we've got these lone wolf actors out there? I think there is still time. Um, and in any event, we have to try to rebuild. Um, you know, it's easy to let things lapse and deteriorate um, if that's what you're interested in doing. All you have to do is nothing. And that's a lot of what got done over the last eight years, including letting our intelligence gathering capabilities um, deteriorate. So, so Putting be, it back together may require legislation. Would it be fair to say you're a little bit surprised quickly that there haven't been more attacks in the United States considering how much we've allowed our intelligence capabilities to lapse? There have been plenty of attacks in the United States, and um, I'm not going to say I'm surprised there weren't more. Um, I, am, I am fearful that there are going to be more, and I think we can do things to, to prevent it. Right. And we ought to start doing them as soon as the new president takes office. Well, and we'll bring you back to talk about them as they happen. Appreciate your time, sir. Happy New Year to you and yours.